guys, I'm back! Yay, I'm back! Hi, thank you for being patient. And if you, if anyone was wondering why I was missing in action, then there's an explanation. I posted this photo, so you can search for this photo in my community tab here on YouTube. And there's a description there, an explanation of why I was missing in action. And if you already know, then yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you for your death well wishes. It, it is very much appreciated. So yeah, thank you so much. I'm okay. I recovered and I'm back. So I'm going to film this quick video today that actually nobody asked for. Nobody, nobody asked for this video. <laughs> I'm not even going to play that card like oh, a lot of people asked for this video. Nope, nobody asked for this video. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a helpful one because this is a tricky topic and it is a complicated, complicated question that not even dermatologists have one answer to this question like everybody has different opinions on this topic so I wanted to give you my two cents on this topic and of course I will explain why I think the way I think I will you know explain the reasons my reasons and the logic behind my opinion and then you can I guess as always be your own judge and use your critical thinking to decide if this way of thinking makes sense to you or not and of course let me know in the comments down below what you think Okay, so today's question is what to apply first, a moisturizer or a sunscreen? And this is a very tricky question and not even all dermatologists agree on this. And here is my point of view. Before I start with answering this question, the important thing to know before diving into this topic is that there are three types of sunscreens out there. You can choose physical sunscreen, chemical sunscreen or a hybrid. Now hybrid is obviously a mix of two. So they have a different mechanism of action. That's the most important thing that you need to know. Chemical sunscreens need to get absorbed into the skin in order to work. They first get absorbed, then they absorb the UV rays of the sun. And that's how they protect your skin from the sunlight. But physical, on the other hand, reflect the sun rays. And they, yeah, and they sit on top of your skin and do that pretty much. Now, how to know if your sunscreen is physical or if it is a chemical sunscreen it's simple memorize these two uh, ingredients of physical sunscreens those are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide memorize those two as the main two ingredients of the physical sunscreen and then when you take a look at the ingredient list if you see zinc oxide and titanium di dioxide uh, and make sure that they are listed high in the ingredients list if they are listed low then maybe they are used as a coloring agent so if titanium dioxide is listed like last it's probably used as a coloring agent so make sure you is this too much info I think this is important I think this is important to, to, for you to know hopefully hopefully I'm not overwhelming you guys but yeah those two ingredients are the most common ingredients of the physical sunscreen and that's how you will know if there are a bunch of UV filters that you have no idea what they are it's most likely that it is a chemical sunscreen ingredient so that's like the easiest way to know whether or not the sunscreen is chemical or physical but again if it is a hybrid then just make sure that the titanium dioxide is listed you know somewhere in the middle or towards the top of the ingredients list because if it's listed last it's just a coloring agent another way if you have no idea how to recognize a chemical filter of course you have no way of knowing that you can use the ingredient app there are a bunch of ingredient apps uh, skincare ingredients apps on uh, play store and apple store um, Apple Store, right? Never mind. You know it, where to download apps. Anyways, you can use that app to check out the ingredients, and then the app will tell you what is a UV filter. And if it's if it the sunscreen does not have titanium dioxide or zinc oxide, then it's a chemical sunscreen. If it has combined, it's a hybrid. If it only has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, then it, you know it's a, it's a physical sunscreen. So hopefully this was useful, and hopefully you will be able to. Figure 
figure out if your sunscreen is a chemical or a physical okay now that's how you tell the difference hopefully that was clear enough and now let's review so i said already chemical sunscreen needs to get absorbed in order to work and absorb the uv rays and physical sunscreen just sits on top of your skin and reflects the uv rays so what should you apply first a moisturizer or a sunscreen well if a chemical sunscreen needs to get absorbed then you don't want to apply a moisturizer that has thick occlusives because if a moisturizer has thick occlusives if it forms a layer on your skin, it's going to stop the chemical sunscreen from penetrating your skin. I mean, it's not going to work. So if you're using a chemical sunscreen, my opinion on this is that you should apply a chemical sunscreen first, wait for it to get fully absorbed, and then you can add a moisturizer on top if needed, if you have severely dry skin. And if you're using a physical sunscreen, then go ahead and apply your moisturizer first, let it absorb completely, and then you can apply a physical sunscreen on top because, you know, it, it has to sit on top and reflect the sun rays. That's all. Simple as that. That's my point of view. What do you think? Does it make sense? For me, it does. Anyways, now you will notice that at the beginning of the video, I did mention the hybrid sunscreen. That is a combination of both a chemical and physical UV uh, filters. Now, again, opinions are divided, but my opinion is, again, that you should first apply the sunscreen because if you apply a thick moisturizer with occlusives, then the chemical UV filters will not be able to penetrate deeper into your skin. They will just sit on the surface and that way you will lower the protection in that hybrid sunscreen only to those physical filters and you won't be getting the claimed protection from that sunscreen so again my advice is to first apply even if it's a hybrid you need those chemical filters to, to work and to get absorbed so first apply hybrid chemical sunscreen wait for it to get absorbed and then layer a moisturizer on top if needed after it's fully absorbed and maybe the win-win situation would be to first apply a sunscreen if it's a chemical of course and to then apply a moisturizer with added UVA and UV protection maybe that's a win-win situation because that way you're layering more sunscreen on top of your skin and adding more moisture so maybe that's a good way now I cannot recommend a good moisturizer with sun protection I would recommend the L'Oreal one as from the previous video that I did I will put a link right here you can check it out I would recommend that one because of the effect on the skin it's very go watch the video it's very glowy moisturizing and it has some protection but it's loaded with fragrance and if you're sensitive you won't like it if you have sensitive skin you, you just won't like it so unfortunately I don't have a good moisturizer with sunscreen to recommend to you guys but if you have some leave a comment down below I would love to know and try out your recommendations um, and the last thing that I want to mention, if you're wondering which sunscreen am I using at the moment, I am still using the La Roche-Posay Chaco Fluid, this one, and this is the European version. This is a chemical sunscreen, it only has chemical filters. I do have a review on it, check it out right here. Um, if you um, are wondering why I'm using this one, you can check out the review. It does have really high UVA and UVB protection, it's very lightweight, it's a fluid. The only thing that bothers me about this sunscreen is that I go through it really fast and for me it's not cheap that's all but I really like it I really really like it and it can be applied around the eye area which is great there you go um, my camera did not overheat for 14 minutes straight that is amazing I think this will be fastest I have ever recorded a video so that's great anyways uh, hopefully this video will be helpful thank you so much for sticking around and one more time thank you for your get well wishes on my uh, post that I posted here yeah it's um thank you so much I'm really grateful for you guys thank you for sticking around and yeah hopefully I will now get back to doing videos um, on time again and yeah I will see you next week thank you so much for watching love you guys bye